I've been very fortunate to have been healthy my entire life. Um, I don't know if I've been in great shape. My uh, little league nickname was Slush Cut, so that didn't help when I was a fat little kid. And that's also part of the reason I kept the nickname Bubba. But other than that, I've been extremely healthy. But I do get an annual physical. Um, we do have some cancer in our family, and we have some other medical issues I just want to make sure that I stay on top of. But I do think the annual physical is something that is uh, very important to get an early sign of anything that may occur. And again, knock on wood, I want to continue to, uh, to be healthy, create a lifestyle that is healthy for me and an example for our kids and, and people that I work with every day. Before every home football game, we do a 5K. We start at Fleet Feet. We run through campus and finish up at Fleet Feet. I will say it's right next to a donut shop, so occasionally <laughs> we get a donut. But we also have an initiative called Healthy Heels, and I had a challenge for our entire department uh, about a year ago that we wanted to become healthy. We wanted to become physically healthy, mentally healthy, financially healthy. We wanted people to be personally fulfilled. But you have to be intentional about your exercise, your eating habits, and medical care. Probably like most guys, it's primarily driven by my wife. The reason I do the annual physical is because she makes me. It really is a partnership with your spouse, it's a partnership with your children. It's something that if it's important, you'll emphasize it. And I think it's extremely important because without great health, you can't achieve anything in life. And so I really respect the, the work that the doctors do and I respect the, uh, the guidance that families give each other in holding them accountable for better behavior. And we've got great physicians at UNC Health, and I encourage all of the men particularly to, to get annual checkups, to engage with their doctors, tell them how they're feeling, and it's not something that uh, men are particularly good at. You know, it's funny, when I talk to, uh, when I listen to Coach, Coach Brown talk about the communication skills of men, they're not very good. You know, how you doing today? Fine. What did you do yesterday? Nothing. What they need to do is do something different. You know, if you've always been a runner, maybe you should try swimming. Maybe you should try golf or tennis. I think a lot of us get bored with the same activity. And so I would encourage people to, to try new things, whether it's a martial art or yoga or Pilates. Now I think people are starting to understand the real benefit to, to stretching, to hydration, to nutrition. And all of those things are different for a lot of men. It's not about going out and just, you know, doing a 5K or lifting weights. It's about doing things that are positive for you personally and from a health um, benefit standpoint. I encourage people to get variety because it does get monotonous if you do the same thing every day. How can we get men to be more motivated to engage in preventative health behavior, specifically exercise? You know, it's a great challenge. You know, I probably talk about it better than I actually do it. Um, and I think that's a challenge for a lot of men. We all know it's important, and but you think another hour in the office or you think another meeting is gonna be more helpful to you. But mm -hmm. in reality, that 20 minute jog or that 30 minute workout is actually gonna give you more energy and you'll be better at the following hour. But it feels selfish when you do it. And so trying to convince people that it is okay to take that time to exercise, to walk, to lift, do push-ups or sit-ups, do something. And it doesn't necessarily take a gym. I remember I worked with uh, Tyrone Willingham one time and I, you know, he was in terrific shape. And I said, what do you do? And he said, well, I, I do all the exercises nobody likes. I do squats, I do lunges, I do push-ups, I do sit-ups. I don't need equipment. If I'm in a hotel room, that's all I need to do. And it's, it's five minutes, it's 10 minutes. I worked with another friend who said, start with something that is embarrassingly small. Start with five push-ups and, and then, you know, and just build upon that. Just do something. And I think maybe that's what it is. You know, I love those campaigns. Just play or 60 minutes seems like a lot when you try to get kids to play for 60 minutes, but maybe it's, it's simply just do something.